No, I felt like he was a hands-on coach with his uh, younger players. I felt that uh, seeing all of these guys get better over the years. And Kenny started off as a development guy. Um, and to see his rise into a head coach, I know how hard that is, you know. So uh, I know how much work it takes to become successful as a head coach when your first playoff game, get to the playoffs, and just create an atmosphere here. I was really impressed, and I wanted to be a part of it. Kevin, what's it been like for you just as you're getting adjusted to being out here on the East Coast, new team, and, and just the way in which you've been trying to balance that with your rehab this summer and how you've been approaching all of it with so many changes? Uh, I was just blessed to have so much support around me. I mean, I really don't have to do nothing but wake up and get on the training table. You know, I got so many people that's taking care of so much for me and making this move really simple. Uh, but, you know, I'm also the force behind it, so I got to think about so much along the way. But, um... You know, I got so much support, and also, you know, coming here with the Nets, they made everything easier for me as well. You know, I mean, obviously, this season, you're dealing with the Achilles, but when you look at the pieces that you have in place here and the way you slot in and everyone slots in around you, I mean, how would you just describe what you expect to see on the basketball court with the way you guys all fit together? Uh, I feel like uh, my game doesn't take away from anybody's. I mean, obviously, we're going to have to share the shots because there's so much that can go around in a 48 minute game but as far as you know talents I don't feel like I restrict anybody from doing what they usually do out on the floor and I think uh, we have so many players that uh, can give you that luxury you know where they can still be good at who they are but allow the other players to fit as well so you know we got smart high IQ players that are efficient and that usually is a, a good sign for some success. So many new players, um, but one that, that we've grown to be so fond of in the way in which he's developed has been Karis LeVert. Yeah. Um, it, and he sat here with us and spoke about just being excited to, to be here with you and learn from you. And I know you have in the past um, workouts, but being around him every day and, and starting to see more out of him, what's your expectations for him in, in just knowing the work that he puts in in the gym? Uh, I, mean, I just think Harris, uh, I expect him to be more of an efficient player this year. Um, I feel like everything else, you know, from his instincts to, you know, his IQ, I think everything is right in the line of where it's supposed to be um, in the next phase for him. Even he says it is to be more efficient with his shots, his movements, um, his playmaking. So um, being a guy that kind of hang my hat on, you know, being efficient every day as a player, um, I know I got some gems that I can throw him to maybe help him out. And I'm looking forward to seeing his progression um, and also me progressing as a player along the way because that young energy, I feed off of it as well. Okay.